This is a map of the entire UK and this is a dart. I'm going to throw this dart at the map and wherever it lands, I'm going to go to right now. The only trick is I'm blindfolded. Let's see where we're going. Scotland's a hell of a long way from London, so blindfold on. Shall I spin round or not? One spin. One spin. One spin. Bro, I don't think that counts. All right, let's go again, part two. All right, after that first failure, I'm not spinning round. I just need to make sure I'm in front of it. Woo! Right, you ready? Yeah. That sounded like it landed on the map, but I don't know where. Oh my God! Yo! Is that far? Southampton? I am at the beach in Southampton. Bournemouth. I thought it was Southampton, but we're going Bournemouth. All right, let's go. Now that I know where I'm going in the UK, here are three challenges that I must complete while I'm here. Number one, visit a famous landmark. Number two, eat a traditional dish. And finally, number three, face a fear. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Look at that. Look at what that says. Two hours and 40 minutes for a YouTube video. I'm putting that many miles on my car. The price of fuel and inflation. Forget it, man. I'll see you guys when we get there. Three hours it took me to get to Bournemouth, bro. Do you think I'm happy because I'm not? First impression, Joe, being here, actually. Bournemouth's actually quite nice, you know. It actually is quite nice. The people are very questionable. If you're from there, I'm not saying you're questionable. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, we've got a couple hours here, yeah? We've got a few challenges, yeah, that we need to do while we are here in Bournemouth. I'm not trying to be here too long. Anyway, the challenges are visit a famous landmark, buy a gift for a stranger, eat at a traditional dish, and face one fear. You know what the fear is? That sea, bro. Do you expect me to go in that sea? Oh, shit. I think we're at the first famous landmark, aren't we? Turn around. Look at, but this is Bournemouth Beach, bro. <laughs> I am really confused at why like, everybody's like wearing bikinis and that. Look at the weather. That is so much clearer than South End. I can't lie. That is way better than South End Sea. Bro, have you caught anything? Have you caught anything? No, not yet. We are at the famous landmark number one, Bournemouth Pier. How is this famous, bro? Turn it around. Look at that. They have a zip line, bro. If it's open, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm still trying to figure out why this is a famous landmark in Bournemouth. Like, is this what the standards are? Eight out of 10 for the beach, yeah. Three out of 10 for the people. All right, so visit a famous landmark in Bournemouth is done. Now I've got to buy a random stranger a random gift. What am I supposed to get a random person? Should we go to the gift shop? Come, let's have a look. Bet you they don't even accept the gift. That I'm gonna be giving them, bro. Do you know how peak that would be? James, what am I supposed to get, bro? Four pound for that? Did I not know the crisis of inflation that we're going through right now? How about this? Oh my god, Bournemouth Globe. I feel like that. Seven pounds. I was gonna buy a random person a gift, Jay. Is this a good gift? Should we get Queen Lizzie? Yeah, get Queen Lizzie. 14 pounds. Should we get Queen Lizzie and go and give it to a random person? Or Charles? Which one should we get? It's gotta be Lizzie, innit? Like, Bournemouth, yeah. Trying to rip my tattoo off. Oh my gosh. Nah, you lot. Bournemouth's a 10 out of 10 for me. I thought of this gift, yeah. What do you think of this gift? No, no, no. No, no it's for you. You, bro, no, no, no. see what I mean? I knew people wouldn't like it. Should have got Prince Charles. About to touch Bournemouth Beach, you know, for the first time, James. And rabies. I've got rabies. That is disgusting. Look what she looks like. But I'll try and give it to these two now. I guarantee they say no. Yeah, bro, it's for you, man. It's for you. It's for you. It's for you. Do you want this? Do you want the gift? Queen Lizzie, bro, you can have it. Yeah, I've been trying to give it away, though. Oh, Look yeah. how much I just paid for it. Seriously? That's for you, bro. So fun. Completed it, James. Step two. And I also have Saratis now on my hands. Oh, no. Look, he's trying to give it away. Look, turn around. He's trying to give the gift away. <laughs> he doesn't want the gift, bro. He doesn't want the gift. No, no, no. I'm good. Bro, look. He's just left £14 worth of Queen Lizzie on the bench because he doesn't want it. Did see this show when we first come here. This is like the... I hate this. This looks like it's been rusted and standing there yeah, for about 600 years. Guess this is a fear. So let's do this horror thing instead if we die we're dying it hate heights i hate this sort of height i'm not looking forward to this you know are you this is horrendous horrendous how heavy how heavy how heavy yeah Drekka, bro, I don't... Oh, man. Oh, yo, 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 yo! See, this is what I didn't sign up for, bro. James, I told you, bro, beforehand I felt sick, yeah? Oh. You see how I don't like the fact we're in, like, a little cage, yeah? <laughs> you don't like heights, innit? Bro, we're at the top, bro. Nah, see, I don't like this. Are we at the heights, mate? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yo, look, bro, this is not fun. There's gaps, bro. I don't like it, bro. I've got... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I don't like it. Yeah, there is Bournemouth Pier. And now we are going to eat a traditional dish. Now, the traditional dish is called Chez. And apparently, it is the best fish and chips in the whole entire country. Like, why in Bournemouth? I feel sick. Let's go and eat some traditional fish and chips. 1.4 million for what, bro? Don't move to Bournemouth. Two bedrooms, 1.4 million. What is this, London? Two beds, two baths, 2.5 million. We're outside, yeah, Chez Fred. Now, the guy told us earlier yeah, that this is probably the most famous fish and chip shop in the whole of the UK. Now, if anybody's gonna be able to judge that, it's gonna be me. I love fish. Ask your mum. How you doing, bro? What is the most popular thing on the menu, bro? Popular thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 
Is it the meal deal, yeah? All right, do not judge, yeah? We come to Bournemouth at the worst time we could have come. We come here for like 7 p.m., which is really bad. We finally have the most famous fish and chips in the whole of England. Let me show you this. We're going to open this together. I need to make sure... Oh, broski. Look how good that looks. Nah, that actually looks unreal, though. I'm going to try a chip, man. I'm rating the chip out of 10. Bro. Yeah, that that chip was good, I can't lie. Not as good as McDonald's chips, because nothing beats McDonald's chips, but that chip was good. That looks like it's still swimming in South End, bro. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Mm. Oh my god. Yo, they might not be lying about that, you know. This is probably one of the best fish and chips I've had, bro. Mushy peas. We gotta try a chip with the mushy peas with the fish. Yo! James! <laughs> bro, this is good, you know, James. Yeah. Bro, that is a good bit of fish and chips, you know. Right, guys, we'll be turning this into a series. Now, this series will then consist of going to Europe, Africa, Asia, wherever you guys suggest in the comments below, yeah? If you guys want to be part of the next week's YouTube video, make sure you subscribe and comment. Chez. C-H-E-Z. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, Bella.